So the Samsung Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus are available at a very good discounted price of 50,000 and 60,000 rupees now, but the Galaxy S23 is also going to launch just next month. So some of you must be confused about whether you should go for the discounted deal or get the latest version for the full price. Now over the years, the year-on-year -year improvements that we have seen with smartphones has become kind of non-dramatic. So analyzing the leaks that we have for the S23 series, it is mostly going to be similar in form factor as the S22 series with similar display display sizes, similar screen resolutions, 120Hz refresh rate and the things that we are seeing an upgrade in are the cameras, the battery and the processor. I think that the processor is going to be the biggest reason to wait for the S23 because the benchmarks for the phones with the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 are already out and this is rumored to be the only processor available in all regions. This processor is a massive upgrade over its Gen 1 CPU that we have on the S22 series. We are seeing 36% faster CPU performance with a massive 48% faster graphics performance and when you combine that with the improvements in battery efficiency, the S23 model is going to be a serious upgrade over the S22 series. One of the bigger issues I had with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 phones is that their battery life wasn't great but this is going to change with the newer CPU. The newer Galaxy devices will also have UFS 4.0 storage which is much faster than UFS 3.1 of earlier models which can improve the loading performance by a lot. The base variant of the S23 Plus may also start at 256GB storage. There is information about us seeing a 200 megapixel camera on the S23 Ultra model, which should be a serious step up from the 108 megapixel camera that we saw on last year's model, and it is rumored to offer much better low light performance. I am not sure how much better the camera on the non Ultra model is going to be, but at least the selfie camera seems to be gaining 2 extra megapixels, and we should also see improvements on the main cameras. We may also get to see satellite connectivity on new phones which will be very handy in case you get stuck in an area without cellular network. Now Samsung is offering 4 years of software upgrades of many of their models including the S series lineup. So even if you go for the S22 series, you should be on the latest Android OS till 2026. So if you don't care that much about CPU performance and you are not very interested in GPU related tasks like gaming, then you could save 20 to 30,000 rupees and get a phone that is easily good enough to browse social media and watch videos on a really awesome screen. But if you want another year of software upgrades, much better CPU, better battery life and nicely improved cameras, you should definitely wait till February 1st because that is when Samsung is going to reveal the S23 series at their unpacked event. Now the S22 Ultra is still quite expensive everywhere so I would definitely not look at going for the S22 Ultra at this point unless you are getting a really nice deal that I don't know about. You can pre-reserve one of these new Galaxy phones on Samsung's website for 1999 rupees and that will give you an early access to these phones, some exclusive features and benefits worth 5000 rupees. So let me know in the comments which strategy seems to be smarter for you. Would you get the older S22 model at 30% lesser price? Or if you think that Samsung's launch offers in addition to improvements are going to make you wait for a bit and get the new S23 series smartphones. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with bell, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.